Okay, welcome. This is a, a quick vodcast on how to calculate between mass and representative uh, particles. So, um, some of the things in chemistry you want to know is, well, how many atoms or how many molecules are in a certain amount of mass? So, for example, here you have a thousand grams of gold bar. How many atoms of gold is actually in that gold bar? Or you have a certain amount of water. How, much, how many water molecules are going to be in that certain mass of water? And um, using a mole road and showing this graphic organizer, we're really kind of going all the way across. So um, going from mass all the way to particles from one side to the other. Um, I have other videos between mass and moles and moles and particles, so please check them out if you're not clear how this mole road works. But in this far catch, we're going all the way across. So just dig right in. Um, in the image, you had a thousand grams of gold. How many atoms of gold is actually in there? The way it actually works, it's it's a two-step process. So we're actually going to be using dimensional analysis. And the first part is you write your given. So you have 1,000 grams of AU. So the first part is we need to convert that to moles. In chemistry, we pretty much always convert to moles. So um, I'm looking for moles. Moles goes on top. Moles of AU. I'm giving grams of AU, so that will go on the bottom. And so the conversion is, um, it says here you have to divide by the molar mass according to mole road. So for every one mole, it goes on top. We have to look up the molar mass of gold. So looking in your periodic table, I see that it's going to be 196.97 grams. So we've gone to mass to moles, but we have to go another step. So what's nice is about dimensional analysis, you can go on forever, daisy chain it. Now, where do our units go? Again, my units always have to cancel out. I have grams of gold, grams of gold. I'm at, right now I have moles. I'm looking for how many atoms of gold, so that's going to be on top. And what's going to be on bottom is moles of gold. Because I gotta make sure my units cancel out. Um, and when you're going from moles to particles, you have to uh, multiply times Avogadro's number. So for every one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And um, you can see that my moles of gold will cancel out. Uh, all my units are in the right spot. All my numbers in the right spot. I just have to multiply everything on top. And divide by everything on the bottom. So grabbing your calculator, I got 1,000 times 1 times 6.02 times 10 to 23. Then you gotta divide by its molar mass, which is 196.97. Plug this in the calculator, and I'm gonna get 3.06 times 10 to the 24th power atoms of gold. So here's a great connection of how we can calculate, um, given the mass of an element or compound, how many atoms or molecules are in that amount of mass. So let's do another example with water. Here I'm given 50 grams of water, and I want to know how many water molecules that is. So um, again, using dimensional analysis, you write your given. So 50.0 grams of H2O. Okay, multiply fraction bar. Um, I need to go from grams to moles. And again, and can we go to moles for a lot of things? So I need to find moles of water. Uh, and it's going to have grams of water on the bottom. So the, um, the conversion between moles and grams is for every one mole, it's its molar mass of H2O. In this case, you add up two hydrogens and one oxygen, and you will get 18.02 grams. Okay, multiply, fraction bar. Uh, I'm now going from mass to moles. I need to go from moles to how many molecules. Um, since I'm looking for molecules, molecules goes on top. And moles goes on the bottom. 
Again, I have to make sure my units all cancel out. That's how I know where those units go. Uh, for every one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Uh, see my moles of H2 will cancel out, my grams of H2 will cancel out. I will be left with molecules of water. So now I'm done setting up. I'm just going to plug it in my calculator. 50 times 1 times Avogadro's number. Um, divide by 18.02. You plug it in your calculator and you should get 1.67 times 10 to the 24 molecules of water. So it's really not that hard to find out how many atoms or molecules are in an amount of substance if you're if you can uh, calculate its mass. Okay, the next two examples is just kind of work in opposite direction. Well, what happens if you're given atoms or molecules? Well, how many grams will that weigh? So here I have 1.25 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of gold, and I want to know how much that will actually weigh. So we're actually going in the opposite direction, going from particles to moles, and then from moles to mass. So the first part is, again, write your given, 1.25 times 10 to the 22nd um, atoms of AU. Okay, multiply fraction bar. Um, a little bit longer. I have to go from atoms to moles. So I'm looking for moles. They'll go on top. I have atoms on the bottom. Oops, AU, AU. For every one mole of AU, that's going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So I've gone from my particles to moles. Next part is I need to go from moles to mass. Um, I'm looking for the mass, so that's going to be in grams. Um, I now have moles of AU. Um, now, to go from moles to mass, you got to use the molar mass of gold. So, for every one mole of gold, we have the molar mass of gold. Again, looking at my uh, periodic table, 196.97 grams. Okay, I know I'm set up correctly because my atoms of AU will cancel out. My moles of AU will cancel out. Um, all my numbers in the correct spaces and multiply everything on the top. So 1.25 times 10 to the 22nd times 1 times 196.97 divided by Avogadro's number. Plug it in your calculator and make sure we keep in the sig figs 3.93 grams of gold. Not too much gold. Okay, uh, last example. If you have 2.5 times 10 to the 25 molecules of water, how many grams of water is that? So, 2.5, write your given. And molecules of water. Okay, multiply fraction bar. Okay, I have to go from molecules to moles, so um, moles will be on top, moles of water, molecules will be on the bottom. Conversion is, for every one mole, is Avogadro's number. So that's done. I've gone from molecules to moles. I now have to go from moles to mass. So I'm looking for the mass in grams. That's going to be on top. Um, moles of water will be on the bottom. Okay, uh, my unit's in the right spot. For every one mole of water, it's going to be its molar mass of water. So two hydrogens and one oxygen. You should get 18.02 grams of water. Okay, so um, I know I'm in, my setup is correct because my units cancel out. All my numbers are in the correct spots on my dimensional analysis. I multiply everything on top, divide by everything on the bottom, plug in your calculator, and you should get 748 grams of water is how much that weighs.
All right, there you go.